Howdy everybody, Big Fatty Plus, and welcome back to the Big Man Play Shadowrun Returns. Last left off, a f old friend from the past revealed he was dead through a dead man switch. And now we're here to, uh, find out why. I'm in the back. Oh, are you in the back? Good. Smell of death and decomposition wash over you. Only slightly masked by the minty, fake fresh of industrial grade antiseptic. Dresden, how you doing there? Oh, look at him, he's so happy. Hovering over his recently departed is a small dwarf whistling a tune. His broad grin says, I love my job a little more than you'd want or expect from someone in the chop, chop shop trade. As you approach, he looks up with a long-sided grin. There's something kindly in his eyes, though it might just be a stray reflection of chrome and surgical tools. Sorry, I didn't expect any visitors this hour. And some... And some schmuck at corporate took my receptionist. What can I do for you, ma'am? Are uh, you the coroner? I'm John Dresden, the organ grinder's branch manager here. So yeah, that makes me this franchise area's coroner too. And you are? Um. Big. I'm hearing about Sam Watts. His grin face. And what makes you think you? I know anything about that? Sam had a look here chip embedded in his skull. I followed it here. I see. Well, you're right. He's here. Not too many people know about the murder yet, though. The press haven't caught wind of it. What with it being all the way out here in the Barrens. So who told you he was dead? I'm not going to tell him about money. Sam's digital ghost. When his heart stopped, I got sent to record a message asking me to bring his killer to justice. Guess he had a hunch. The dwarf raised his eyebrows, a smile wiping suspicion from his face. A dead man switch, eh? Fascinating! I was working on him here earlier. He's over here. Yeah, sure, let's go take a little peek see over here. He's my second Emerald City Ripper victim. The third one was downtown. Emerald City Ripper? He sighs. Not my title. That's what the Seattle press insists on calling the killer. All I know is what all I know is that, like the original Jack, our Ripper knows how to handle a scalpel. But this one's even more twisted. He or she always removes an eternal organ from the victim. What prize did Ripper take from Sam? Watt's liver was clearly cut out. How about the other How about the other like no what what whiz, what else? First victim first victim's heart was missing and the third had a spleen removed. Dresden, get out here! Oh, we'll love this character. I'm here about the new Ripper victim, Sam Watts. Now yeah, let's, uh... Sam's body is half covered by a sterile surgical sheet. His face is ashen white, for the first time without a smirk on it. Below the chest, there's a small pencil-thin incision covered in dry blood. Beyond that, the corpse is immaculate. It seemed that the killer knew exactly what they wanted from him and took it. Next to Sam are several plastic envelopes containing the evidence found in the body. You can send the evidence through the bag without exploding. Get this card? Moving things around, you can see it makes out a card from a place called the Seamstresses Union. There's something handwritten on the back, but blood is made illegible. Cred, cred stick. Standard cheap, unsecured cred stick. No way of knowing what's not without slotting it. I'll just take that. Slot the cred stick in your PDA. 300 New Year. It is added to your account. What about the purple shirt? It's Sam's shirt. Several of the buttons are missing, and blood is thoroughly soaked in. The bag sloshes a bit in your hand. What about the handwritten note? You want to see part of the note, given the torn off bits and blood sinks. Sam, I feel terrible that we are, we have been long to say I'm so See you there, love, Jessica. Hmm. Ah, uh, take that basic med kit. Anything else in here I should be able to acquire? Okay, let's have... Uh, McCluskey. He's a character. Towering over the diminutive coroner is a homicide detective right out of central case casting. If you ignore the tusks, pointed ears, and Neanderthal brow, you can smell his cheap aftershave, aftershave from a mile away. Yeah, that's the general size of uh, trolls there. That's who I... That's, who I, that's, that's, that's about the size. I'm, a, I'm taller than him, just not as big. 
So this new Ripper Vic, what? What's name's familiar? Didn't his mother kill herself a while back? The coroner frowns. So you insisted at the time. He chortles. Oh, come on, she offed herself. I had it on very good... Oh, come on. She offed herself. I had it on very good authority. Now let's go, Dresden. Give me something to work with here. This Ripper case is my ticket to a lieutenant's badge. I've already posted everything I know! The killer stuns the target with a combination of drugs and magic and removes a single internal organ while they're still alive. The perpetrator is most likely right-handed with a slim hand that knows its way around the scalpel. Has a decent understanding of human and metahuman anatomy, too. So I'm looking for a whacked-out surgeon. Not necessarily. I don't know any surgeons still use scalpels anymore. These days it's all done with computer-controlled lasers. Could be anyone from a military field surgeon to an antique medi medicine, medicine aficionado. You're no dang help, Dwarf! Lone Star Detective finally notices, notices you. You know his superhuman powers of observation. Yeah, he's, a uh, real smart. Who the hell are you? <laughs> I loved you. I know, I loved being strong picking this option. I'm not your business, Lumpy! Maybe I should've went and add strength just, just to, like, be intimidating as a big woman there. That's fine. The detective on this case... I'm new in town. You a welcoming committee? If you're new in town, let me be the first to tell you that I run the show. If you get my way, you end up back here on a slab. He looks back at the dwarf. Dressed and get me more. I'm putting someone in, in a cell or a box this weekend claiming my promotion. Oh, lovely. Lovely cop. Just, just fracking lovely. Dressed and looks amused. Can you always make friends that easy? I'm great at dinner parties, too. He cocks his head to one side. He's straight with me. You really gonna work for a dead man? <laughs> he street you. I was there when I needed him. I'm gonna return... Sam was there when I needed him. I'm gonna return the favor. Fascinating again! Detective McCluskey isn't interested in anything but Detective McCluskey. He'd convict his own mother if it meant another ten million a week in his paycheck. Plus, he's on the take. Dresden pauses, consider you have honor after a fashion. I try to honor the dead in my work, so we have that in common. What can I do to help you? On the take, who's paying his leash? Or holding his leash, whatever. I don't know, but someone with major pull has been looking out for McCluskey's career and wallet. What was that McCluskey said about Sam's mother? The official report she committed suicide about a year ago. Aren't you on the, aren't you the official in that sentence? My name's on the report, but my actual findings left some doubts. I can't say it wasn't suicide, but. There were unusual bruises on her upper arms, and she didn't use her dominant hand to pull the trigger. I was told to drop it, so I dropped it. Where are organs worth these days? A whole healthy body can be worth a bunch of million, but individual organs? Not worth as much anymore. What with all the synth and cyber stuff on the market these days? Organ grinders only deal in the recently deceased. There's plenty of other chop shops that aren't as picky, though, and they don't care where the bodies came from either. Who still uses scalpels? Doctors still learn how to use them in their first year of medical school. Let's do corners. But neither profession uses them m much anymore. It's possible some of them slimy or chop shops still use scalpels, I suppose, but I wouldn't know where to look. Have you heard of the steam mistress since Union? It's near my club in the fairies that attracts low lives. You you'd probably like it. Me? I'm not really the going out type. Always too much to be done around here. Plus, the dead are just easier to get along with. Yeah, I understand that. Dead dead don't mock you, don't, don't insult your jokes, don't slap you in the face when you touch something you shouldn't. Shut up, text. I see though one more thing. Where was Sam killed? Dresden looks you up intently for a moment before speaking. You know, I might be able to do you one better. Why don't you poke around those body lockers in the back, see if you find anything useful. Um... Okay, then I'll, I'll go do that. Yeah, let's go poke around in them, them body lockers. The cold storage drawer is labeled John Doe, but the internal thermostat is set to 21 degrees Celsius. Let's open the drawer. The cold storage drawer opens to reveal a fully clothed body of a man, arms folded across his chest. In addition to sporting some of the brightest orange hair you've seen, the body seems to be in very good condition. Jay Carmitage. Ha <laughs> ha! The original Shadow Runner. Whoa, easy there. What the hell? If you ever played the original, that's how Jake wakes up in the original uh, Shadowrun game. He wakes up, you know, I need to do that one. I 
really need to. In one quick move, he jumps from the drawer and stands before you. For someone who just woke up in a morgue locker, he seems unfazed and pretty well put together. You spot a data jack drilled into his temples and some shamanistic tattoos peering above his collar. An interesting combination. I told John to wake me up at 6 in the morning. Is it 6 yet? I don't feel like 6 yet. Uh... You were just sleeping in a freezer. Uh, a freezer for dead people. Don't tell me you haven't considered it. Cheaper than a coffin hotel and the service is just as good. He chuckles. Well, so much for a good night's sleep. On the plus side, I know you haven't killed me yet, so that's good. If you aren't after me, then what's your story? I'm looking into the death of Sam Watts. The coroner seems to think you can help me out. Sam, eh? Glad someone cares. We used to drink together every now and then, over at the Union. Decent enough guy. Always in trouble over something or other, though. Jake yells toward the outside of the room. John! Is this lady cool? Nah, he's a, she's on the level. Working for Sam, believe it or not. Some sort of dead man switch. Thought you could help her out. Maybe even stop moping around the shop all day. Thanks for volunteering me. Pauses might be sizing you up, but it's hard to tell behind those shades. Alright, uh, Nate and Jake, and you are? Call me Big. Nice to meet you. Well, it sounds like you're taking a dive into the deep end here. John's right. Might be able to help you out. I was with Sam the other night, the night of the murder, poor guy. He was hanging at the seamstress union that night, tripped out and rowdy. I've been laying low there for a few days after a bad run. Mrs. Kubota asked me to throw Sam out, so I did. But out in the alley, some gangsters got to jump on me. He winces. Dang. Maybe I need some soy calf after all. John, could you grab me a cup? Get your own dang cup! My hands are dirty anyway! Now what's wrong with this intestine? You hear a loud squelching sound as dressing continues work. Thanks, John. You're a real pal. Anyway, there's a big fat court bounty on my head. Like I said, my last job didn't exactly go according to plan. Out in the alley, a few Halloweeners got to jump on us. Dang gangers thought they could turn a quick profit off my head. Jake smiles and you get the impression he didn't work out so well. It didn't work out so well for the gang gangers. Sam stumbled off during the night, though, and that's the last I saw of him. Till he turned up here, dead on arrival. Reminds me of last day at this place. Have you done this before? It's a long story. I end up in the morgue more often than the average guy. Yes, he does. Yeah, Jake, here's a regular. Sh should have started a rewards card, Jake. Oh, Jake, here's a regular. Should have started a rewards card, Jake. A few more visits, you get a free night's stay. Jake laughs. I'll hold you to that, John. Anyway, they found Sam's body less than a block away from the Union. Missing liver and all. Tell you what. You look like you'd hand yourself in a fight. I'll give you some backup to settle the score with these ha those Halloweeners out there. Their leader's got the whole gang searching the barons for me. I need to get rid of that schmuck. Yes, yeah, so I'm not swearing on the count of the text will ruin it anyway. Shut up, Tex. You're, you're, you, 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 you. Quit with the censorship. Jeez. In return, I'll take you to the place Sam was murdered. It's not safe to hit those streets alone at night, trust me. Jake I eyes you up and down, and maybe I'll throw in some decent supplies while we're at it. Oh, that would be helpful. I need a rifle. What do you say? Nice having someone watch your back out there, assuming you can trust them. I get it. Gotta be careful in this trade. I'm not one to go back on the deal, though. John can vouch for that. Plus, you know where I'm hiding out, right? Doesn't leave me a lot of room to sell you out. What do you say? I do like a bit of street justice every now and then. Alright, Jake, count me in. Great. I've been hiding out here, hiding out here ever since I run in with the Hell's Halloweeners. Whiny bunch of gangers, but this stretch of the Barons is their turf. Hell, I'm surprised you'd even made it this morning one piece without packing some heat. He yells over his shoulder. Very funny, Jake. You can sleep in a dumpster tomorrow. So you need weapons? I like to keep my distance. You got a rifle? That's why I picked. No guns for me. Melee's my game. <laughs> and that was fun hitting people. Oh, that was fun hitting people. Now we're just going to snipe. You don't like a library. You don't like library windows, do you? Never mind. <laughs> Oh, that's bad, man. That's bad. That's bad, Jake. Jeez. Never mind. Here's a rifle you can borrow. So you ready for an evening on, out on the town? Just a minute. Tell me those. Tell me about these gangers. Well, they're one of the nastier gangs in town. Their symbol is a flaming jack-o'-lantern. But you wouldn't like their vision of trick-or-treating very much. Their version. Around here, they, they're led by a troll named John Paul. 
He's got a lot of Halloweeners in the barracks looking for me. We take him out, maybe I can breathe a bit easier. Well, if you're buying. Hey, I've already provided the party favors. We can leave whenever you're ready. Oh, okay, that's fine. Just up. Doc Wagon Basic Trauma Kit. What the hell is that? Let's check some of these items I got here. Oh, I got uh, points, I guess, maybe. No? Spin Karma, yes. Uh, I need three points. <sighs> dodge. Yeah, well, no, I already put it in dodge. Okay. What is this? Oh. Don't need strength intelligence. Points on using a med kit. Ooh. Decking. We don't do decking. Willpower. Spellcasting sheet. Hmm. Hmm. We don't need that because we're not uh, doing that. So uh, I'm going to save the... Uh, the points, because I really would rather put uh, some points into ranged combat. Okay, he gave us an AK-97. And we also have a basic med kit and Doc Wagon. Destroy us teammate to life. Ooh, nice. Now I'm just going to raid your crap if you don't mind. Basic med kit. You want to check everywhere for anything, because, uh, yeah. I forgot if there's an item or not I can I can use to uh, examine, you know, like, I forgot if there's like a control, is there a control ability? Or not control ability, let me save. Oh, I can't save, crap. Uh, there's no controls to tell me if I can do things. Yep, gotta leave. Head out into the Barrens. Sure, why not? This will be fun. The Redmond Barrens. Run in the Seattle sprawl, and sooner or later, you'll find yourself in the Redmond Barrens. Doesn't matter your business. The Barrens doesn't like you. Take one part radioactive wasteland, three parts dog-eat-dog -dog slum, add a dash of tourist trap, and you got a recipe for mean as hell. You leave the sanitized death and formaldehyde of organ grinders behind. Entering the anarchy and desperation of the streets. Jake stops for a moment to breathe deeply, filling his lungs with motorcycle exhaust, radioactive dust, cordite, and who knows what else. He exhales with a, he, nah, he exhales with a with an expression of wry uh, Why can't I talk today? He exhales with an expression of wry contentment. The stench and grime tell him he's home. Jake likes the streets. We're just gonna say that. He likes the streets. My set's just around the corner in the alley. Okay. Is the bus stop here? Oh, hello, madam. Every day, elves are my favorite. Really, madam? Really? You want to want to talk? Want to talk? Okay. No, it's fine. We have we have something we need to do. It's fine. Hidden within the hidden in the garbage strewn alley is a high-tech safe with a mag card reader in front. Open the safe with Jake's mag card. With a smooth hiss, the safe opens to reveal a collection of gear that is a perfect match for your skills. You take the gear. Oh hey. Hand over the loot, bozos! Did you just strike me? Really? Uh, well, sir, I'm gonna have to shoot you enough. Wait, do I? What do I have for weapons? Other than, okay, no. Nope. And Jake has fist, and he has that. What's what's Jake? What do you got? Heal wound. He has all damage from most recent attack. High. Target increase target hit chance. Last two rounds. Yes, we're gonna use that. Oh, yeah! Oh, went in the wall. Um... You missed! You frickin' missed! Excuse me, sir? Right in the face. Oh, 
Shrek, how dare you? <laughs> so, welcome to the Barrens. Guess I'll need to find a new spot to hide my gear. Good Jed, good to see you. So I shouldn't invest in real estate around here? Only by the hour. Hey, you seem right say at night. Now she got some gear. Let's go deal with those Halloweeners. Yeah, so let me go check my gear here. Let's see, we got uh Ooh. Cyberware, data jack, yeah, I can't know. So. Uh Jake has a gun. Let's see. Look at look at that. Look how bulky it is. It's funny. Alright, see we have Okay, so I can't Okay, I guess I can't really do anything. Can I save? Yes I can. Okay, let's go well uh, we got we got a worried man over here we need to deal with. Let's talk to him. Worried man, the man before you appears well mannered but nervous. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. I, I don't know you, but you look like you so, look like you can handle yourself to fight and we need some help. What's the prop what's your problem? Sometimes they're shaking down the market we set up here. It's been getting worse lately. I don't think we can afford to pay them anymore, and no one will stand up to them, and Lone Star isn't about to get involved. Where's this market of yours at? It's just down the street, man. Please, our livelihoods depend on this market. Yes, we have, uh... Extra quests we can do here. Sir, our clothes may be dirty, but this woman is far from downtrodden. Hey, it's not my business, but I wouldn't go that way. Why? What's going on? Just some Halloweeners stirring up trouble again. She points to the south. They rode in this morning on those fancy bikes, set up camp in the old street market. They've been marching up and down the street all day, shaking down anyone that wanders past. Typical. Well, the odds are those guys are those are guys we're after. Anything else I should know? Hmm. Well, their leader is a big old troll named John Paul. Real piece of work, even for a wiener. Yep, that's him. Jake checks his pistol. Checks his pistol. Sounds like a friendly bunch. You gonna be safe out here? She laughs. You think I'm done enough to get caught out in the open one of those smucks? Nah. I know these streets like the back of my hand. Worry about your own skin. Thanks for the heads up. No sweat. So let's go up here. Might as well help, might as well deal with the whole, uh... Commerce is like a weed. Take your root in the cracks and crevices of the world, wherever it can. A small street market has flourished here, amidst the crumbling buildings of the Redmond Barons. Excuse me, thug, you need to, uh... Square out. Oh, look at you, yeah. Why do you look like a... Why do you, you... You look a bit like freaking uh, Review Tech USA. That's funny. The thug attempts to use his bulk and hideous breath to intimidate the shopkeeper. The old woman is holding firm. But you can see a thug's patience is fading fast. So he looks like he's about to start breaking things. Hey, who the hell are you? I bet your mom's real proud of you. Look, I ain't never heard that before. I don't see a bad. Just want you mind your own business. Because I'm sick of gutter punks like you. I knew you were just looking to call static. Dash! Ice this lady! You missed. You missed at point blank range! You must be. You must be brilliant. You missed at freaking point blank range. You have got to be special. He's done. <laughs> Weak! Woman, you oughtn't upset me. Yeah, let's get you over here. Uh, let's go ahead and do it on me. That'll be fine. Did you do? No, it's fine. Well, you're dead now. You look like a woman from your from the way your hair was, but it's fine. You're dead now. 
Mrs. James. Oh, I cannot thank you enough. I hate to see such blood said, but those men would not take no for an answer. We simply want to make our way in the world. The shopkeeper holds out a few new and please. It's the least we can do. I'll take it. I need, I need 48 bucks. I didn't as the monk, but I need money. So I think that was pretty much the only quest. Let me see if I can save here. Yes, I can. So are we going to be able to deal with the Halloweeners? And most importantly... Are we going to be able to deal with the Halloweeners? Because I completely forgot what else I was going to say. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, dude. No problem. Find out next time on The Big Man Plays. Shadowrun Returns. So nice, Big Fatty Plus. Sayonara. Yes, I know. I'm trying to keep them compact the first few episodes. Mainly because I want to hurry up and get done. Because dinner is waiting for me to be cooking it. And I'm hungry. Leave me alone. Thank you.